Hello guys, today we look at the gap elements. A gap element is a contact element created between two nodes. The contact behavior by gap elements is defined by the initial separation distance clearance D and orientation vector N. Here you can see definition of gap element in Calculix. It is very similar or in Abacus. First line asterisk element tube and element sets with, for example, name 1. The second line is element number, for example, 1001, and between node 1 and node 2. Line after, that asterisk gap with element Z, name 1. Next line defines the gap properties. Gap clearance, D, orientation vector, Unused space, spring stiffness and tensile force. So you can use gap with a user stiffness. Gap is closed if difference of displacement not, not 2 and not 1 is higher than the gap clearance D. The nodes have interaction, also contact. If gap is open, that there is not interaction between nodes. For example, two beams are fixed on one side and have gap element on the other side. Force, force F is active in positive Z, upper beam is bent in positive Z, gap element is open and no interaction between the beams. If force direction changes to negative Z and gap clearance D is exact like the distance between the beams, gap is closed when upper beams comes on lower beams that they in interaction together. I am testing this on small FAM model I am going to Salome Mecca, start geometry tool and create one surface with height 100 and wide 10, 10 mm. After this I change to measure and create shell mesh. Duplicate my mesh 10 mm in Z direction. Now it is important to define node sets so that you can use that letter in Calculix. Create group. First define I fix it not set. After I define nodes for, for my gap, not top one, top two, bottom one and bottom two. Later, I will define a gap element between nodes, top, tops and bottoms. Mesh is finished. I export this in uh, UNV format. This is uh, ideas format. No, I start Calculix, uh, Calculix launcher. The, the mesh must first be converted to input file. Open the input file with text editor. You can see the node sets fixed top and bottom. Now I can fill my input file with keywords. Define element tube.
I simply define number 1001 for gap element because this number is not available in mesh, uh, this number is free. Gap between not 1 is bottom 1 and not 33 is top 1. The same for second gap element between not 2 and not 34. Not or gap properties. Gap, gap clearance 10 mm and vector in Z direction 0, 0, 001. After not used space, spring stiffness and uh, tangential force is here uh, default value. Shell section. I change the element to tube S4, it is standard shell element, and rename shell element Z to plate. LZ plate with thickness 1 mm. Now I need material for my shells with name steel, elastic yield modulus on Poisson ratio. I define amplitude from for force. But the time uh, 0 0.5 is force 1. And uh, by time 1 is force minus 1. So that the force acts in the plus and minus direction. After this I define boundaries. Not fix is fix in all direction, 1 to 6. Not or step definition. Step is static. Direct with 0 0.1 steps to 1, also 10 steps. C load in direction. Three is Z is five on not top one on top two. Output for elements stress. And not output is displacement on reaction force. Step is finished. Save and start solver. Uh, I error. I check my input file. OK, by amplitude, uh, asterisk forgot. Uh, and by boundary and uh, by shell. Save and run again. Job is finished. Uh, start post processing. To next by time 0 0.5, the force is in positive z direction. You can see no interaction between shells. Gap is open. So by time 1, force is negative, gap is closed, and the shells are in contact. OK, I change, I change the gap clearance to 0 0.1 mm on the restart calculation.
by a positive force, no changes, but by step time one, you can see gap closes earlier. Here is compared by negative z-force between gap clearance 10 and 0.1 mm. Gap elements can also be found in other software. Here is a small overview. The input file you can download in video description. Have fun with the gap elements. Thanks for your attention. See you next time. Bye bye.